So in this exercise, we are asked to look at each of the alkenes and describe whether they are E or Z because cis and trans are inadequate terms to use in this case because we have nothing on the left side of the double bond that is identical to anything on the right. So we need to analyze each of these alkenes and look at each side of the double bond one at a time. Look at the two groups on the left and the two groups on the right and decide which has higher priority using the con ingold prelog rules. So first of all, you might want to fill in any hydrogens, just so you know. So here we have methyl versus hydrogen. So carbon versus hydrogen, that's easy. The higher priority one is the methyl. So that didn't require any mapping. On the right, we have an isopropyl group versus an aldehyde. And we have two carbons. So each of those carbons is going to have three connections that we need to list. I call this mapping the atom. So on this carbon, I have a hydrogen that's not shown and two other carbons. You should list them in order largest atomic weight to smallest. So I have carbon, carbon, hydrogen. On this carbon, I have a hydrogen that's not shown and a double bond to oxygen. We list the double bond twice, so there's two connections to oxygen and one hydrogen. So if we look, we look at the first point of difference, which is here, carbon versus oxygen. Oxygen is larger, the aldehyde is higher. The higher priority substituents are on opposite sides, so this is E. You can remember E is opposite if you remember E opposite side. Looking at the other one, we have a chlorine versus a carbon. Again, that's pretty easy. Chlorine wins because chlorine is much higher atomic weight. On the right side, we have a carbon and a carbon. So we need to map. So this carbon has two hydrogens and another carbon on it. So if I map it, I'm going to say carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. This carbon has a hydrogen and two carbons. So if I map it, it has two carbons and a hydrogen. Remember to list them in order biggest to smallest. So the first point of difference is hydrogen versus carbon. So the bottom one wins. My higher priority substituents this time are on the same side, so this is Z. You can remember Z is the same side. 